Hi everyone! Sorry I haven't posted an update in a while. I've been very busy at the Underground Toy Society helping sad, lost, and lonely toys. Especially the toys when kids don't clean them up. That's not you though, right? You clean up your toys, right? Well, anyway, today is May 30th and we're doing pretty well. So I put, I'm going to put together a couple days for you because I haven't posted in a few days. But we're doing fairly well, except that today I noticed that one of my peppers here was very, very droopy. So I gave it a little extra drink. I hope it makes it. I'm sorry, pepper plant. It hasn't rained in days. So we've been watering the garden every day. Daddy Bear said that we should water it at night when it's really dry like this because then the water won't evaporate off as quickly. So we've been trying that. We, we're trying and learning as we go. So keep watching for a couple days of an update. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's day number 21 and I checked the plants this morning. We still didn't plant some tomato plants. It's, it's May 26th today. What are we waiting for? Ugh. Anyway, I checked the garden this morning and it was still wet. Uh, what happened was, I asked another YouTuber, um, I asked another YouTuber when they water, and they actually recommended to not water closer to night and, and water in the day. But what happened was, before I knew her recommendation, I watered the garden last night. <laughs> So when I checked it this morning, it was still pretty wet. And I learned that you don't want to overwater because that's bad too. So the whole thing is we need to learn how to water properly. <sighs> Everything is such a learning process. But it's good to look things up and it's good to learn new things. So I didn't water this morning Everything looks pretty good. It's not droopy or anything. So, it's not too late. And I looked on the old farmer's almanac and it said that it, it's okay to water in the evening if you have to. So, it has been very dry and it hasn't rained very much. Just that little bit that other day. So I think I will give it a little bit of a drink just to make sure it's okay because it has been very very dry and I don't want to waste all of my hard work that I did getting everything planted and growing because it does look very nice. Nothing really looks too bad and wilty. Maybe the potatoes a little bit. Maybe the tomato plants just a tad over on that side. But everything looks pretty good. And I checked the big garden this morning, but I, I did water the big garden this morning because Daddy Bear just recently planted that, and that was very, very dry. So I watered that this morning. So I'll check that. So, yeah, it's a learning process. I learned that plants need an inch of water. I forget. Oh, I should have written it down. An inch of water every week or something like that. And the best way to measure it is with a rain gauge. So I'm going to look around for a rain gauge. Mm, hopefully Daddy Bear can get me one. So other than that, they recommended getting a tuna can. I saw an article recommending a tuna can. So what you do is you put the tuna can on the ground and you mark it an inch up to, to measure if it rained an inch. So I might try that if I can't get a rain gauge. 
So I named it a tuna can. I thought that was pretty cool. So I might try it. So anyway, I don't know if we have any tuna cans. We don't eat tuna all that much. And I don't know if some people can even eat tuna. I don't know. So anyway, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more updates and more learning along the way. Today is May 29th, and it's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day! So anyway, it's been very hard keeping up with the garden because it's just been so hot and dry. It hasn't really been raining very much. I didn't even try the tuna can trick to see how much it rained because it hasn't rained. So there would be no point. And plus, I didn't have a tuna can. So next time we eat tuna, I'll save it though, just in case it decides to finally start raining. But anyway, it's been very hard to figure out when to water because you don't want to overwater because you don't want the roots to rot, but you don't want to underwater because you don't want them to wilt and not have enough water. But I think we've been doing a pretty good job. Everything looks pretty happy. I don't think anything is wilty. So that makes me very happy. We've been doing a pretty good job. I've pulled a couple of weeds out. Not too many weeds, but a few have popped up here and there. So we've been doing pretty well. Some potatoes are hopefully going to start getting some leaves on them. I, oh, I think I do see a couple with some leaves on them. So that's really good. And we have some tomato plants. Oh, it's really windy. Huh, everything's blowing around. We have some tomato plants and pepper plants that are doing very well. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on them to see if they need more water. I think I might give them a little bit of water this morning. I'm not sure. I don't know if I should because it might be getting pretty hot. Maybe a little bit because they do look pretty dry. We didn't water... I watered them yesterday morning, just a little bit. I didn't give them a whole bunch because it just hasn't been raining. I don't know where the rain is, but the broccoli looks pretty nice. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll continue to keep you updated. None of the lettuce or carrots came up yet, so we'll have to keep you updated on that. And give me a minute and I'll give you an update on the big garden. Hold on. Well, we still have some tomato plants left, so what I did was I repotted some, and then I repotted some more, so they could grow a little better. Instead of putting them in a really big container, you want to put them in, like, steps. You want to put them in a... a little bit bigger container and then a bigger one and then a bigger one so that they get a chance to grow as they grow <laughs> yeah so you don't want to put them in a really big pot to begin with because i heard that they'll have trouble uptaking all the water and then they might have root rot so you don't want to do that so we try and container gardening gardening to see how it goes. I hope it works out very well. I'm not sure. I hope so. Okay, I'm going to go give you an update on the big garden. I tried to earlier, but the battery went dead on my phone. So, I'll go over and show you the big garden. So, hold on. I decided to come check the back garden first. And look! I think there's some lettuce growing. Can you believe it? I think it's really tiny. I'm not sure. I can't really tell the difference between weeds and lettuce. So, we'll have to keep an eye on it and see. But that's where Daddy Bear planted the lettuce. And everything else is looking pretty good. Um, there's the broccoli. Ooh, the broccoli is really growing. And... Some tomatoes are growing. Boy, boy, everything still looks dry over on this side, 
too. I think it needs a good watered down drink. I don't know. I wonder when it's going to rain. I don't know. Yeah, those broccoli don't look all that great. But I hope things will start perking up. The strawberry bush. Bush? I don't know. Strawberry plant? <laughs> I don't know. It looks pretty good. I don't think any carrots are coming up yet. But the potatoes aren't looking too great. The one on the end there kind of shriveled up. And the one that was falling over, that shriveled up too. So, I don't know. We need some rain. But we'll keep trying. Hopefully Daddy Bear can water in the garden today. Give it a good drink. Oh, look how dry it looks. It just looks so dry. But these plants down this way look like they're hanging in there. So, okay. Um, I'll show you the big garden now. Okay, so stay tuned. dry. It is getting a little breezy and cooler at this moment, so I was hoping that it was going to rain, but I'm not sure. So, we got some. I did give them a drink this morning, and Daddy Bear's gonna water the whole garden. Look how dry it looks. It just looks like it needs a good drink. So, yeah, not much rain lately, and the rain barrel is completely empty. Nothing's left in it. Nothing at all. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully we'll have enough water. Okay, I'll give you a tour of the other side of the garden. Hold on, i got to walk around. Okay, here's the other side. I don't know. I'm looking pretty. Scorched. I don't know, maybe I didn't give them enough water today. I watered them this morning. Look at that one. Its leaves are all droopy. Oh, I hope they'll be okay. I hope Daddy Bear can water them. Oh, I hope so. They're getting pretty dry. The one on the end here looks okay. <sighs> We need rain. I don't know. Well, we gotta keep trying. You can't give up now. A lot of hard work to get the garden to grow. Just keep trying. Never give up. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for more gardening updates. Hit the like button, please.